Welcome back. How would you feel if a level three sex offender moved into your neighborhood? Tonight, the Department of Corrections, along with the Fergus Falls Police Department, met with community members to discuss this man, George Frank Coda Jr., who will soon move into the 700 block of Junius Avenue in Fergus Falls. Valley News Team's Giovanna Simic has reaction from a mother who will be living right next door to him. It's very uneasy. I feel unsafe in my own home, I guess, you know, when they're there. Never As a mother of two, ever. Kohler doesn't You're feel that authorities know what it's like for a sex offender you know, you live to live in their neighborhood. Kota served 21 years of his 30-year sentence for first-degree criminal sexual conduct that included penetration with a minor. Fergus Falls Police and the Minnesota Department of Corrections met with community members to inform them about the new sex offender moving in. But this isn't the first level three sex offender that has moved into the neighborhood. We generally have somewhere between one and three level three offenders residing in our community at any given time. And that is the reason that the police department holds these meetings. Just to notify the community that we're having somebody who has been uh, given the, the title or the label of a level three predatory offender and to let them know that they are moving into our community and to give them a little bit of background about who this person is, why they're moving into our community and whereabouts they're going to be living. People like Kohler still don't feel comfortable yeah. living in a neighborhood where a sex offender lives so close by. It's not fair that we're forced to live next to these type of people, you know, and they never once took a toll on how many kids were in the neighborhood. In cases like this, the Department of Corrections does have this advice. If they know that there's a level three in the area, talking to them about not talking to that person, not going into their yard, um, that sort of thing, and talking to them in general about safety. In Fergus Falls, Yovana Simic, Valley News Live. The Department of Corrections says that all level three sex offenders are, are under strict house arrest and are watched carefully. Fergus Falls Police advises uh, community members to call with any questions they have. MSP International Airport in St. Paul, Minnesota has brought in some backup to make your travel more enjoyable and it doesn't get much cuter. Patty Anderson and her 10-year-old Carn Terrier Ballard didn't fly anywhere today. Instead, they were lifting spirits in Terminal 1. Their part of the airport's uh, Animal Ambassador program launched over the past year. It put man's best friend in touch with travelers. Research shows that petting not only a dog, but warm-blooded, fur-coated animals reduces stress and can even lower blood pressure. One of our first customers stayed for about 15 minutes, sobbing, crying. Uh, she had just buried somebody, an immediate family member. Her knees had gotten weak. She didn't think she could make it across the airport. She saw my dog and just hugged him and sobbed and cried. So it's a gift that keeps giving, and I'm really happy and excited to be a part of the start of that gift. Not only are there therapy dogs at the airport all the time, there are about 20 different pets filling various shifts right now. A new project has made its home in downtown Fargo. Take a look at this. It's a handmade colorful igloo. Igloo. And it's located off of NP Avenue near the No Bull Bar and NDSU Renaissance Building. It took the NDSU student over 40 hours to make this project happen. And look at that. It's colorful. Red, blue, yellow, green, purple. I don't know if there's an orange in there, too, but I love it. Okay, igloo like is it. one thing, but the colorful thing, that's outstanding. I know, I think yeah. so, too. Later in sports, the NDSU Bison men's basketball team back home tonight against the Leathernecks of Western Illinois. Alex Egan is in with the highlights. Up next, need a reason to exercise and maintain a healthy weight? It's very important for people at high risk for developing diabetes.